So I'm gonna get upset okay. if we still t- talk about this and you haven't seen these movies. Okay. okay. If we if we scale them as how much better they are than the first movie. Okay. Winter Soldier above Captain America, the first Avenger. I have seen Winter, I haven't seen Winter Soldier. You haven't seen I haven't Winter seen Winter Soldier. Soldier. I'm sorry. Have you what I see Captain America. The first one. Which I didn't see trash. Winter I didn't see Winter Soldier. No, come on. You used to do movie review show. I was drinking a lot at the time when no, Winter Soldier use came that out. For everything. But I just wasn't in the movies when I was on my good look look look. Doe. I didn't see. I don't want to sit there and lie to you. Winter Soldier. I thought so- about Okay, lying let me to just you. tell you. Let me just tell you. Okay. <sighs> You've seen of course you've seen Winter Soldier. Let's start Righteous and Ratchet by telling Doughboy to charge his phone. Welcome to another episode of Righteous and Ratchet. Doughboy never charges his phone or his computer. He's gonna put me on blast never like that mid swig. In his life. But I think that's what makes me me. I live on the edge. No, you don't. You're like, hey, can I get a charger? Can I get a... Uh, it is kind it? of embarrassing. I got two phones now and they both be they dead. Both be and you dead. said that. When you said it, I was like, I'll show him. Now they're both not charged. Welcome to Righteous and Ratchet, our regularly scheduled Wednesday broadcast. If you're a Patreon member, oh, yeah. a patron, mm-hmm. you're a Righteous Elite you mm-hmm. get the bonus episodes. And yeah, we're going to be doing those a lot more. Oh, every week you'll get two episodes. But if you're nine, you ain't got it like that. We Welcome here for you. to our Wednesday episode. We got a lot. We got a lot to unpack. To talk about. We're going to talk and about it. And you know it. what? Me and Dobo were talking about this off camera. We were like, man, it's always so much angry I racism can't. stuff. I, I can't. We just be wanting to laugh sometimes. We just want to have fun. The only reason why we even did this whole podcast because we're friends and we weren't working at the company anymore. And we want to just be around each other more. I can't come in here every day talking about heavy stuff, so we got to mix it Especially up. Especially when you're already heavy, Shut you up. are heavy stuff. You got to carry around that body. <laughs> I am day. heavy stuff. You are heavy stuff, but we have to talk about what's going on Current, in the world. So we'll, or you know what we should do? What? Here's what we should do. I'm going to throw a wrench in the whole day's plan. Oh, yeah. Whole day's plan, because okay. today on the docket, we had Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. We had Meek Mill. We had Malia Burberry Obama. And we had Burberry on the news. I'm mm-hmm. just randomly going to throw other stuff to talk about. I'm with all of that. This is, I didn't want to talk about I all that stuff. I was just like, man, Bur- Burberry had the news, and I was just like, It's like, like why? what are you doing in 2019? If so you don't I'm know throwing better. a wrinkle. Okay. I'm throwing a wrinkle because we done talk about too much heavy stuff. You're, th- you're throwing was, a crinkle cut fry. There we go. <laughs> Get some jabs in there. Yes. So I'm switching the entire episode. Really? Yes. On the fly? You weren't going to tell me this before we got here? Nope. Okay. Because I just didn't want to talk about I it. I didn't either. It was hard. We were looking for stuff I was and just it was like, just all bad news so i'm gonna just make up topics as we go okay and we got a couple sponsors today so we're gonna throw those in today we got partners with scent bird mm-hmm. you know our cologne fragrance sponsor yes we got a new podcast to tell you about ozzy confidential mm-hmm. and our partners at purple dot or purple um the mattress company yes so here's here's my here's i'm so my happy thing. that we don't have to talk too. about those things here's i did not thing. want to me neither okay. here's my thing first question to you what is the greatest movie sequel that was better than the first movie the greatest sequel that was better than the original that was better than the original and i can i give you mine that vibe for contention sure okay first one is Mm -hmm. sister act two sister act two was in the habit that was much better than the first one okay now i have i have i have mine okay but before you go to yours let me tell you why okay I love Sister Act, the first one. Okay. It was great. Sister Act 2 didn't make nearly as much money in the box office. It did Tony Baker, no. Um, because it was marketed to a different audience. Remember Woody, mm-hmm. or Woody, Whoopi Goldberg was the one black person in the, like the sea of white people, fish mm-hmm. out of water type of thing. Right. And in Sister Act 2, obviously she had the- um, The different black people. And it stuff was in about the, the kids. Okay, so they just it. marketed to different people. I think they mm-hmm. were both successful, but the first one was more- Lauren Hill was in that. She, I, d- I feel like I, we didn't see so Lauren Hill in any other movies after that. And she was so good in that. What? No, I don't think we did. She was really so. If that's got to be the one movie that you do, that's a good movie to her do. Her as Rita. Oh my god! That scene where they are at the piano. Yes. And she was singing in the the little quiet nun, who was my favorite. Mm-hmm. The quiet nun was like, "Oh, you sing like a bird. I love you." <laughs> you know, the quiet nun came in, and Rita's mom was so mean. Cheryl Lee Ralph. She was. Was oh, not yes. trying to. You know what? Moms, y'all got to stop blaming your kids for the bad father. Absolutely. Okay, they got bad fathers in the world, and you blaming the kid. I ain't looking like your father. 
<laughs> it's okay. not my fault. It's genetics. Sister Act Two is in contention. But what, can, can I give one thing? Yeah, that yeah, I, no. I hate it about that. About Sister Act Two? Yes, the one Hold part. On. I, There's I want, one part. No, no, listen. I want to be your friend, uh-huh. and I just want you to know. Okay. If if you li- if you dislike something seriously about Sister Act Two, mm-hmm. I recant our friendship. Okay. Okay, but there's there is one part that I didn't okay. Like. Uh, if it ain't if it's, I don't agree, we okay. ain't friends. And you it gotta was, go. Right it now. was the part when they said, "Hey man, say a rap," and he was like, "Nah, I don't really want to say a rap." They're like, "Just say it." And then his rap was "Mary, Mary, Mary, the fleece is white as snow, and everywhere the Mary with her lap was boo." Yeah, but I'm like, that was yeah, not okay. hot. I'll give you that. <laughs> that was, I was like, in what world did not, that make? Not, was not, anybody like, yeah? <laughs> I was just so trash. So that one part, not gonna defend Mary. That. Mary, 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 this, this is about to stop. I was just like, bruh. I was but, trash. <laughs> but you admit that that movie makes up for oh, it. Man, absolutely. Okay, Great so name me your three points and then I'll get to your movie. Your three favorite parts of that movie. The the, the, the My three favorite parts yeah. of Sister Act 2? Yeah. Um, was it the dude when he sang when he came out? Jamal? Jamal, yeah, yeah. When he uh, when he's oh, saying that, happy day. yeah, and then he just really just and then what, I'm getting chills because yes. movie broke up down la 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 and then he came out of shell. He taught me yes. Oh, he taught me how to work. Do I? Do I? like that. And remember, he hit the note. I can't do it. I know. But when he hit the note. <laughs> like, Whoa. <laughs> the craziest thing was just seeing her in a nun outfit the whole time. Her really, hat was so big. It was just kind of ridiculous. So big. I like that part. And okay. then my other, I might only have two favorite parts. So I ain't okay. going to search for a third. But okay. the part where they sing this song, if you got to be somebody, if, if you, you want to go, go somewhere, somewhere you yeah. got to wake, wake up, up and pay. I was already taking the high note. We're supposed to harmonize. Nah, Do it man. again. You keep okay. it low. I'm going to try to harmonize. If you want to be somebody, if you want to go somewhere, like, you got to wake up and pay, pay attention. attention. Yo, we should be a duet, man. We shouldn't. <laughs> really? But you could rap and I could DJ. You can sing a little bit, though. I think you'd be sleeping. I think when we start to No, do no, that, I sing amazing. But we together, you're going you gonna to hold me down. I, I wasn't going to give you amazing. You What? You cannot sing. Oh, oh happy day. Oh yeah! <laughs> Remember we met him at ADD. Did we? Yeah, Ryan. Um, what's his real name? When was it? Early, early ADD. We used to have uh, all the snacks. That was my drinking days. <laughs> I don't really be remembering. It's so embarrassing. One of the pitfalls of drinking is that it does something to your memory. Who says that? That was my drinking that days. Was my drinking days. I don't really remember so uh, much of what we talking about. You don't remember about? me? It was me, you, and him, and his like manager who was in the kitchen. Fifth of night. <laughs> That's what I remember. So, no, I don't. But I'm pretty sure he was okay. a good guy. So, uh, now, the funny thing about him is he was in that City High uh, group. That was City really... High has the most interesting, terrible song. Like, not bad That's song, the most depressing song in the world. we was gigging In the to. club, what would you do if your son, son was, was at, at home? home Cry on the phone in the bedroom. And you get hungry. And the only way to feed him is sleep with a man for a little bit. Like, why are we dancing to this? He's like, hey. I'm in the lockdown. I'm in the lockdown. I was just like, this is very sad, but this beat is making me do this. <laughs> Sucks for that kid, but this. <laughs> it's good. What are, my son. <laughs> what are your favorite parts of Sister Act 2? Because those are my two favorite parts. I'll okay. take those two. So, those two parts, mm-hmm. the very end. Well, one part when uh, Whoopi Girl was like, Cold Beans, hey, and Collar Green. Yeah. Hey, mm-hmm. Cold, I like that part. Okay. At the very end, when they was um, finna lose the competition, mm-hmm. And they took their, they're like, take your robes off, take your robes off. They want us to take our robes <laughs> off. And they take their robes off and they sang, um, uh, what was the song at the end of the movie? Uh, Come on now. It's your favorite movie, Kevin. It is, I didn't say it was my favorite. It's uh, it's one of my favorites, though. Mm-hmm. What was the song where they're, um, they did this? Oh, my gosh. First of all, I don't ever want to see you do that again. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little shoulder bop. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I, I, it's gonna drive me crazy if I don't find it. Hold on, I cannot think of it. Joyful, joyful, oh, Lord, why don't, how did I miss it? No, 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 do the Lord. part how she built up to it. Oh, oh by right, the way, right, right, right. Right. yeah, 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 yeah. But the breakdown, yeah. By the way, yeah. what has he done for me lately? He watches <laughs> over everything. So we see. And then then Lauren Hill came in. Yeah. Ah, 
and that her was, mom was there. That was a that was a powerful moment. Love it. I getting chills just thinking about. It. Okay, so, so what so, was your movie? So was so was that your favorite movie because you kind of grew up in the church and you kind of were like super into choirs and stuff? Was that like even more special to uh, you? As a kid, we just I feel like me and my cousins in El Paso, we just watched that movie so much. I watched I binge watched that a lot. But I don't remember much about that. the first one. No, I don't remember hardly all I remember is like one scene of her running. Okay. I remember it being a cool movie, but like Sister Act Two is so much more memorable. Mm. I don't remember Sister Act being like that rewatch. I don't remember much about the first one. No, I but actually my remember. my sequel is definitely gonna blow yours out of the water. Like well, I, I didn't I'm say like, that's my favorite one, though. I, said, I got my favorite one. Okay. That's one. This is in contention. Okay, so this okay. one, this sequel was so much better than the original. It was like eons ahead. It was almost like two different studios okay. making a movie. It was a great, and it was very revolutionary for how they did technology in movies, and it was... Terminator 2? Terminator 2. Terminator 2. Terminator 2. That's when Arnold that, was good. That's when Arnold was Arnold, for real. That's when he... That was... That's a good that's one. That's a great... Because the, the first one was just whatever. It was, was like more cool. darker. It was you know, cool, but the second one was definitely it was, lighter. It was definitely... What, whatever happened to that dude that was in the Terminator with him? The dude that was the bad cop? T-1000? Yeah. Like, I feel like he didn't do anything after no, that. No, he did a lot of stuff. Did he? Yes. What'd he do? Uh, is he Lieutenant Dan? Was he Lieutenant Dan? Is he Lieutenant Dan? I don't know that he's Lieutenant Dan. He might be Lieutenant Dan. He can't be Lieutenant Dan. He could be Lieutenant Gary Dan. Gary Sinise, is that his name? Hold I feel on. like he didn't do much after that. Robert Patrick, it might not be Lieutenant Dan. Is it? I'm looking it up now. Hold on. Robert Patrick ain't do much. Robert Patrick, he's been in a lot of stuff. He absolutely has. You're going to be surprised. Not like big it. stuff, though. No, no, no. He absolutely has been in a lot of big stuff. Okay. Terminator 2, Judgment Day, mm -hmm. X-Files, Scorpion. Nope, nope, nope. John Cena, the unit, Copland, True Blood. That's what I'm saying. Like, he hasn't. What has he started? Death, Flags of Our Father. No, that was Gary Sinise. Yeah. It was Gary Sinise that was Lieutenant Dan, right? Yeah. Okay, Robert Patrick, I was wrong. Uh, he hasn't been in a ton of stuff. Even right? these movies that he's in, he ain't in the, the pictures. Right. Like, yeah, yeah, our boy is in that. Okay, so I was thinking of Gary Sinise. Right. And so if we got to go. If we gotta, but when they shot him. That's what I was going to say. You could take parts, but. When he shot his, his whole head, face removed and, and came back. back. So when you were watching that, Ooh. were you like, bro, how are they going to kill this dude? I was like, I don't even. It was just, it seemed very daunting that they were going to even get through that. But right. then you had the, and then you had the kid. What was the kid's name? Edward. Uh, was it John Edward Connor. Furlong? But what was his name in the movie? No, what was the his name in real name? life? Yeah. I don't know. He was good. Everybody was the good. Movie was that. great. Movie was just great. So I, and it made, was great. You, made you forget about, <clears throat> I can't tell you much about the original Terminator. And first, and there's been a lot of Terminators. Right. I don't, and that's what I'm saying. I don't remember. There's any. been a lot. And I, I'm a guy that a lot of times I don't like sequels because sequels I feel like can mess up a franchise. I feel like every, I feel like if Hangover just would have been a one off, it would have been one of the. Okay, greatest hold movies. that thought because okay. after we go the best sequels, we can talk about the worst ones. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna tell you another one that I think is, this is my, this is probably my favorite okay. one. The Dark Knight. Was that the second one? That was the second one. No, no. Batman Begins is first, then Dark Knight, then Dark Knight Rises. And in my personal lexicon of those movies, it goes Dark Knight, Batman Begins, then Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, because Dark Knight, that was one with Bane, right? Yeah. That was now, I like Tom Hardy. Dark Knight was a Joker. Yeah, no, Dark Knight Rises is Bane. Yeah. Right. So, so it I goes Joker. Thing, yeah, you said the wrong okay. thing. Joker is the crim. So if, if in order of bad to good, uh -huh. Bane... Now, mm -hmm. mind you, they all, they're all great. I love them all. Joker was number one. Well, yeah. Joker's number one. Uh -huh. Ra's al Ghul, number two. I never watched the first one. I'm not going to hold what? you. What? I'm not going to sit there and lie to you. I have not seen it. Why haven't you seen it? I don't know. It just really wasn't that important for me to see. It's Batman Begins. I like, it's I've how seen he the got second to the League one. of Shadows. I didn't, I didn't watch it. I'm not going to tell you a lie to your face. I don't be lying to you. Did you see, you saw two and three? I seen two and three. I didn't really like this, the third one because I just, his voice was just irking me the whole time. Batman, uh, I'm not just as awkward in the dark. Shut up. Do okay, this. That, <clears throat> that, was a, that was a Yoda impression. <laughs> but did you hate his voice? His voice No, I loved it. Fun fact. Okay, hold fun, on. Let hold me on. tell you a fun fact fun about fact, voices. Okay. The Shrek, Mike Myers. Yeah. Shrek. He had did the entire movie mm -hmm. in, a, in a particular voice. In the yeah. 25th hour... He comes and says, I got a different idea. Gems comes with a different voice for Shrek. Mm -hmm. They reshot the entire movie. And they a lot of people say that that's, that switch made that movie as popular as it was. Really? Absolutely. 
Really? Yeah, fun fact. Didn't know that. Yes. You know what else I didn't know? What else didn't you know? You can get amazing colognes in small packages. You know, I actually struggle with that because, you know, women always say that they want a man that smells good. And how are you going to get Regina Hall? I got to be able to smell good. You got to have your A game together. You can't be slipping out a bit. And you want to be able to switch your smells up all the time. And I kind of struggle with that sometimes because I can't just be buying. These bottles can get expensive. So I'll be looking for something that maybe I can like rent some cologne or maybe just get some squirts. I wish there was something like that for me. Oh, there is something like that. Is there? Our Kevin? good friends over Pray at tell. Scentbird uh-huh. have hooked us Say up. Say the name again. I think you said it wrong. Scentbird. I said it right. Okay. Now, the thing about Scentbird, it's it's a couple of amazing things about it. Mm-hmm. Now, they sent us some stuff, okay? And we got Gucci. Mm-hmm. Can't, well, we got Versace. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. We got Dolce <laughs> Gabbana. Yeah, we got some uh, amazing, Sense. amazing scents. Okay. Now, here's the best thing about it. Mm-hmm. We you know, Doughboy's on limited budget. Mm-hmm. I am. Okay. And I don't have money to buy. Cologne at full price. Be like $90 to 100 a bottle. For a full price. I used to buy like Michael Jordan cologne back in the day, but I wanted to step up and, and smell different mm-hmm. about things. So and They yes. don't have Michael Jordan because they have the, <laughs> like Michael Jordan cologne's not great. <laughs> these are all great. So we uh-huh. both have these. They sent us some of our favorites. My wife has been loving it mm-hmm. because what I do, I take the shower. Right, Before right. I get into bed, I go skirt, skirt, skirt. Right. And it's like a new smell every night. Right. But normally like, oh. you'd be like to use like honey baked ham and like stuffing for your scents. But when you want to smell good and better, this is what you use, right? Low key though, <laughs> if honey baked ham, like the crust was a smell, <laughs> I, wouldn't I wouldn't be upset about it. I wouldn't it. be bad at it. <laughs> I wouldn't be upset at all. Okay, so here's the thing that okay. it's a subscription service. Okay. okay. So if you guys don't know, it's a luxury brand subscription service, kind of like um uh, like like when you have these new fashion boxes, they send you mm-hmm. dope stuff every week. You get to pick your favorite colognes. Different they'll come ones. every week, okay? Mm-hmm. And they have over five, they have about 450 designer brands for you to choose from. So mm-hmm. whatever is the top of the line for you, Tom Ford, Kenneth Cole, everything, okay? Mm-hmm. You can choose those, and you get 120 sprays, okay? That's four daily sprays. Really? But I usually do that like in, in, oh, in you three be days. Heavy on it, okay? But that's cool because I can get, get more. You can get more. Now you can go heavy every day. You mm-hmm. know, if you want to meet with Regina Hall, you want to go one cent, yeah. and then you got a you know potential she date. Like, with, oh, you smelling different, right? Because in your fantasy you keep world, a woman guessing. Yes, mm-hmm. but in real life. Yeah, you can still get this. And okay. his, his mind, Regina Hall, is uh, an option. But if you do want to have an opportunity to meet her, mm-hmm. you can never go wrong smelling good. You have Because that first good. interaction, when you hug a woman, whether mm-hmm. you've known her for a million years or just meet her, or you mm-hmm. shake her hand, and because this, this is what my wife loves, okay? Mm-hmm. When you give her the hug, because I don't wear a lot of cologne. Mm-hmm. I wear enough so that you're in my immediate area, you mm-hmm. can smell me. I don't want to Fun fact, air. you should put it on your ears, because when a woman hugs you, I go right neck, neck. You don't have a neck. So where do you put I it? I know you ain't talking. <laughs> you showed it, showed it. I, I live a, I lift the flap up. I go neck, neck, wrist, wrist, uh-huh. and then I, I do a step in. See, so I'm I, five sprays of walk in. You say, wait, you do a step in? So you, you spray it in the air and I, shimmy into the mist? I don't shimmy. I walk in strong. I, I step in, and I'm like, and I do a push up. See, I do, I do a different thing. I put it in my beard. I spray it in my hand and put it in my beard because you don't, you can't grow one. Yeah, well, you got to so, wipe the lard off. <laughs> so you would have to, you could like put it in your mustache. You'd be like, you know, I don't got no mustache. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like blue face. <laughs> but for my mustache, that's good. Okay. So if you guys want to get down with Scentbird, and we recommend that you do, here's what we have to offer you. Okay. Uh-huh. Go to scentbird.com slash ratchet. Mm-hmm. Use our code ratchet for 50% off. That's right. Exclusive offer offer just for our listeners. Okay. Mm-hmm. You can get 50% off your first month that's today. Half. That's half. That's 750 for your first fragrance. Okay. Okay. That's Scentbird. S C E N T. B I R D dot com slash ratchet. Mm-hmm. Once again, S C E N T B I R D dot com slash ratchet for you to try your first cologne or perfume for just seven dollars and fifty cents. But Smile th- on. Another sign on. <laughs> Smell amazing. <laughs> that's a, that's another thing too. Like, you know, you know, just to piggyback off of the I'm whole gonna throw thing. some on just so right, right, right. I let you know what's up. Okay, go ahead. Pick okay. you back a lot. So that's the thing. So like when I grew up like as a big dude, like I, luckily for me, I had fat dude advisors that were like big dudes. <laughs> and so they would talk to me and tell me things. They were like, no, Doughboy, 
Woo. You're obviously one of us. <laughs> <laughs> so they would say things like this. They, they brought like, you into the fold? Absolutely. So they'd be like, Doughboy, there's things you got to remember. Now, it's okay if you're a big dude. You're okay being the fat dude. Yeah. You just don't want to be the fat, funky dude. Right. So I always knew at a very young age, you need to always smell good. So I always made sure my hygiene okay. was super lit and that I had colognes to always smell good. Yes. That's just one thing that I go by. So, you know, all shout out to all my, my big dudes out there. If you're a big dude, you need to be smelling good. We already got strikes against us. Don't be out here. Don't let it be funky. That that you can (laughs) control. You don't want to be that guy. Your size is a little more difficult to control easily. I take two showers a day. I have to. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have to. Summertime, I I mix in three. What's what's the middle one? What do you mean? What's the middle uh, shower? Well, now that I don't have a job, I just, you know, just be too You just be like, oh, it's been long enough. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Let me saunter on in here. Okay, let's continue with our conversation. Okay, so Okay. So Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Is is up there. That's definitely up there. I got some other ones for you. I have another one too. Okay, you throw yours in. Can I skip the second one and say a third? It doesn't matter if it's sequel, a sequel. No, you can skip it. Okay. Toy Story three was better than all. I was Toy gonna Stories. go to Toy Story. Toy Story three. Here's my only problem with that. That was an amazing. Did you cry when they held hands? Mm-hmm. Did I? Ooh, Here's the thing about it. I don't oh. think you can cry if you haven't seen the first two. You're right. Because you, like, by the third, when You're they so grabbed vested hands. You're so They had been through all of this. I'm not afraid. Oh, that's okay. They were like, we got each other. If we gonna die. This is how it's gonna go. My, and they grabbed and each other. And then they got the claw, like, the, oh, like that. Bro. Because. I we, let it loose. I was. Did you? All certain the movies nachos? I cry. Certain movies I, oops, really will definitely cry. So I definitely cried a lot. I don't even know why I did that. So wait, why did, why did you skip over Toy Story 2? I just don't think that it was. That impactful. That's my least favorite of the Toy Stories. The first one was but, classic. But you think three is better than one? Absolutely. Even though the first Bro, one was really one, a cl- one set. Okay, don't, here's don't, my only don't, thing. Don't you here's do my it. thing, because I'm with Josh. I, I, I'm with, I'm, I'm going to tell you. I know 96. Old How old were you, Josh? Six? I was three years old. When the first one came out? What do you know about movies? You were three. Set your young self God. up, man. You were watching that at daycare. No mm-hmm. one was 84 I, I at that time. VHS, <laughs> first of all, he was three years old in 1996. You were three. I graduated in 1997. You oh, no. graduated from elementary school. Set up. In wow. 1977. Okay, so, so Toy Story one. Uh-huh. How is how is three better than one? I because I like the three. emotional tug that you had. Like, like, I think like you said, like we had seen all these things happen. It was so much more of a complete story. It like really well rounded it up. It was like. This kid is going. So you felt so much for the toys. Yeah. And just think about how difficult that is as a writer. Right. To have the audience vested in some toys, some, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they have personalities, there are people. And then you also felt for the kid. And it was just, it was emotional. It was funny. They had callbacks from the other movies. Then they had lots that was in there. So it's like, so you're saying it's better because of the build up. The build up. The build up better. allowed it to be better. It, it just gave you a more of an emotional landscape. To harvest I from. will give you that. Now, mm-hmm. now I'm going to give you another argument. Okay. Toy Story 1, not only was it original. Mm-hmm. And it, it was the first Pixar, right? Yes. Yeah. It introduced us to a whole genre. Because of that, I might have to. Uh, Toy, Story, Toy Story 3 was a better movie. Okay, but here's the thing. I, I, I disagree. I like Toy Story 3. They're like 1A and 1B. Because Toy Story really came on the scene with such an original premise. Like, I was like, was. what do the toys do when you leave? That 13 years great. old, I was like, okay, I'm all in on this. It was a great premise. Okay, so now, and then you got the whole, you got the old toy, you know, with the new guy who's in town. Buzz, bro, when Buzz didn't know he was a toy and he was looking around, shooting his laser, nothing's happening. Yes. <laughs> he was that so, was, that he was, was so funny, bro. That was good. He and, was like you and, and Regina the, Hall. He was dead serious about it. <laughs> Everybody's telling him, yo, no, like you tripping. He's like, nah, into infinity and beyond. And we be forgetting who voiced those over. I don't be forgetting. Tom Hanks and Tim Allen. Tom, I, who forgot that? That was. Tom Hanks. And you're, that, right. you're right. But see, this is what. That I think. might be Tim Allen's finest work ever. It's arguably, Especially in a movie. Arguably, you got that in Wild Hogs. Wild hogs? <laughs> Santa Claus? <laughs> you think that's good? <laughs> but this is what I would say to you. I think that you're going with the original because of the nostalgic yeah. feeling that it gave you. Much like people go with an artist's debut album. But I can't say that 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 reasonable doubt from Jay-Z is better than the Black Album or Blueprint. Like he well, was I can much say better. Kirk Franklin and the Family is better than uh, Revolution or the other way around. <laughs> so tell I, don't about- think, I think music is different. You can't- 
Jump uh, in. You can't have that feeling when they're all grabbing hands without that. Without that nostalgic connection from Toy Story 1. Uh, I hate it That's a right. great point, I hate Joshua. It when he's right. That belt. Because honestly, if you the did first two were trash, you'd be like, ah, they die, they die. The, the thing die, is, I'm going to tell you right. what's so good about three. Mm -hmm. The villain was so good. Lotso, Lotso was is a great a better, villain. Now Sid was a good villain right. too, and you know he's the garbage man in three, right? I, I've been I've been hearing a lot of things oh, about the Pixar universe. Oh, it's crazy! It's that kinda, all connected. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. We should have, we should talk about that one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. So, um, but Lotso turning on them that because was crazy. he was hurt. That was when Lotso pushed them in. It was like he no, had I'm, 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 he making, I'm making an executive call. Number three was absolutely better. It was just a better movie. We you were no, it was a better. No, when you think about the villain, when you think about the connection. No, no, no. Sit. Okay, now let me take he you was back. A be to, let me take you back to one, bro. When all the toys rally around, right. and and Sid picks up Woody, mm -hmm. and Woody turns around and goes, "We see everything. That we was, lost it in the was, theater." Uh, That's why I'm saying. Now the seat. We got to talk about them. This is like visibly better. Like no one will argue with you that Sister Act Two is better. Or more enjoyable experience than than Sister Act but One. But you can make Terminator three, Two. You can make three to one Toy Story debatable. It could be debatable. It's debatable at at very least because this everything that happens and I get it. You don't get yeah. B without A, but yeah. B. If you gotta just watch A or B, it's like bruh. The, I, okay, I, if you I gotta laughed. watch A or B for the rest of the time. You pick you pick. Three I mean, easy, uh, that's three easy, easy call. Easy really call. easy call. But if you can't remember, if you don't have one, you don't have three. But that's not a reason. That doesn't make one better than three, though. That's true. Just like Jay Z. That is true. Jay Z's first album is crazy, like, that's but it's true. not better than the Blueprint. It's just think about how much better of a I rapper already he said was. That's a okay. good point. Right, that's a man. fantastic point because you can see, people always say uh, you can't be better than your original. Like, no, if I teach my son to play basketball and then he crosses me over and dunks on me and goes to the league, he's better than me. Yeah. Even though I taught him how to play, like, <laughs> absolutely. he's absolutely better than me. Kobe Bryant's way better than his dad, and his dad was a pro. You know, so right. okay, I'll give you that. Okay, okay. Huh? Four is coming. Is it Toy Story Four? Yeah. What's the premise? We don't know yet. It's not, it's just, really? Yeah. The, the ring around the rosy in the, in the air. Now this is what I can talk about as far as sequels that I hate. Can I talk no, about no, that? not yet, not yet, okay. not yet. Because there's, I'm gonna tell you another one. This is a debatable one. Okay. Godfather Two. Godfather One and Two. I know. I'm just because I haven't seen. Godfather? I seen Godfather. I seen Godfather. You didn't see two? I haven't seen two. Yo, boy. Why? Why? I just haven't seen it, Kevin. You? That's when I haven't cool. seen the color purple. Oh, Because I wasn't able to watch it when I was young, and when I got older, like. In an age where you can. Have you seen color purple? Yes. Oh, you really shouldn't have asked that. He <laughs> born in 1993, and he's seen the color purple. I haven't seen. Color and he's purple. a Mexican man. I haven't seen color purple. Why? It's just one of those things. It so was just, when I do my joke, you be like mm -hmm, laughing. At I've you. done it my whole life, and I don't know what everybody went awful. Oh, I know the lines from, but I just don't know the movie. I've never seen it, and I've never seen. If you have not seen that movie, first of all, let me let me go back. <laughs> this is a safe space for right now. All right. For right now, for right now. <laughs> Are there any other black movies that you should have seen that I you haven't there, seen? I think there is. Um, what movies as a black man should there's, I have there's seen? There's so many. Sure? I've seen. I've seen. You've seen all the house parties? Absolutely. You seen all the hood classic? All the hood. I do hood movies. For okay. Sure. You seen uh, Love and Basketball? Absolutely. Okay. Love and Jones. Brown Sugar. Yes. Brown Sugar. Yes. Okay. Cool. We're okay. Cool. You're you're off the hook for okay. now. Okay. Cool. Why have you not seen The Godfather Two? I just haven't. It was because back in the day those movies were long. When you used to rent them from the movie Godfather theater, Godfather is no. I didn't tell you how old I am. Absolutely long. But, it's, but I remember back, it's on Netflix. Let me tell you why I didn't watch it. Because back in the day, we'll stop this podcast right now. Back in the day when I used to when I used to rent movies, yeah, that movie was like two or three VHSs. I was like, bruh, no, I can't do all that. No. <laughs> so it just seemed too long. Is it a good movie though? Because I heard three was trash. Three. Stinks. I think by three the time is a movie with no scent bird. <laughs> it stinks. Ah, it's like three it stinks a lot. Mm -hmm. But one and two is so good. People just be like, I mean, did three really? One come was out? a classic. I, two. I will watch two equally by the next time. Better and color purple. Better. Okay. Or we're not recording. I'm I shooting righteous and ratchet alone with a cardboard cutout of you, <laughs> which is just a large turkey. 
<laughs> Why have you not seen that? I just haven't, bro. When I was younger, it just wasn't really. You okay, know what I'm, I'm gonna give you another one. Okay, since I want to get off that subject, because okay. you're making me upset. All right, and this one is so far better. This might win be, if we if we scale them as how much better they are than the first movie. Okay, Winter Soldier above Captain America: The First Avenger. I haven't seen Winter, I haven't seen Winter Soldier. <laughs> You haven't I seen haven't Winter seen Soldier. Winter Soldier. I'm sorry. Have you what? I see Captain America, the first one. Which I didn't see Winter. I didn't see Winter Soldier. Yo, come on. You used to do movie review show. I was drinking a lot at the time when no, Winter Soldier came that out. Excuse for everything. But I just wasn't in the movies when I was on my look, 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 look. Doe. I didn't see. I don't want to sit there and lie to you. Winter Soldier. I thought about. Okay, lying let me to just you. tell you. Let me just tell you. Okay. <sighs> you see. Of course, you've seen Winter Soldier. I am willing to bet a lot of the audience hasn't seen Winter Soldier. I, I don't know how they feel. I you seen. consider yourself a movie connoisseur, though. They, I don't know how they feel. I guarantee you most of them have seen Winter Soldier. But can I tell you the reason why I've kind of cooled off on superhero why? movies? Because they be doing too much. No, but Winter Soldier is so good, man. So I need to watch Winter Soldier, Color Purple. No, you oh, go oh, Color Purple first. Color Actually, purple. I'm a man. For blackness... <laughs> Color black purple. History mo- okay. Okay. Uh-huh. For blackness, color purple. Mm-hmm. For movie classics, Godfather. Godfather. Okay. And then Winter Soldier, just for just sheer Soldier. enjoyment okay. of a movie. Because Winter Soldier, you know why you haven't seen Winter Soldier? Why? Because you've been sleeping. What does that mean? You've been sleep on good movies. I have been sleeping on good and movies. And you've been sleeping on a on a on a poor quality mattress. I have. That's why I wake up and I feel like I worked out and I didn't even work out. You've been sleep. I have. And if you're gonna be sleep on a mattress, mm-hmm. It should be a mattress from purple. That was I, that was amazing. Okay, I I got into that. <laughs> I didn't even know where you were going. I was beautiful like, beautiful way. That was okay, great. our friends at purple are all about comfort mm-hmm. and rest. Okay, there's no better way to start off your day than with a good night's rest. The only way I can get through this tour mm-hmm. is because I have a great mattress. You know, people like purple. They let you sleep well because you know, <clears throat> diet, exercise, and rest are the three keys to healthy life. Mm-hmm. And diet and exercise are really important, but people always miscount how important rest is. You sleep more than a third of your life. Yes. And lack of proper... See, when we have had bad episodes on Righteous and Ratchet or other stuff... sleepy. It's because I'm sleepy. 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 (laughs) Okay, if I don't get proper rest, you can't be creative. You can't can't be funny. You're Mm -hmm. cranky. You're irritable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, kids. Bro, you got a daughter. I do. You know what your daughter's like. Like, if she... Especially when they're younger. Oh. If they don't get a good night's rest... It's a wrap. It's a wrap for them, okay? Mm -hmm. So if you're struggling to get a good night's rest, you've got to try a purple mattress, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, the funny thing about purple is they got a an actual rocket science. Actual? Actual rocket scientist okay. is the person who developed the the science behind purple mattresses, okay? Mm-hmm. It's patented technology to create purple, the world's most scientific mattress, mm-hmm. okay? Now listen to this. Mm-hmm. It's probably gonna feel more different than anything you ever slept on okay. because it was developed by a rocket scientist. And it's not like memory foam. Everybody talk about memory foam. I'll be hearing memory that. foam is the rage. Oh, memory foam, memory foam. <laughs> okay, but purple f- material feels very <laughs> unique because it's both firm and soft at the same time. Kind of like your muscles. Oh. Like they should be firm. You're just soft and soft. But they're soft. <laughs> you got no firmness. So the mattress keeps everything supported while feeling really comfortable and it's breathable so it sleeps cool. Now, okay. in my marriage, I love my wife. Okay. She's, the, she's everything to me. Mm-hmm. The one thing I dislike about her mm-hmm. is the temperature. She be having it on 76. It be hot. I, I, mean, I came in the house the other day when I came over. It was really hot. No. It be crazy. It felt like a sauna. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you pronounce sauna like this? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So when you have better sleep, you have a better you. Yes. And you can have a better sleep and a better you with our friends from Purple. And mm-hmm. because you're watching the pod mm-hmm. the and potty. you're friends of the potty, mm-hmm. okay, we're going to offer you a hundred night purple. Oh, no. On a night risk-free trial. Mm-hmm. If you're not fully satisfied, you can return your mattress for a full refund. Mm-hmm. Backed by a 10-year warranty. Mm-hmm. Free shipping. Mm. And returns. And returns. Okay. Okay. And guess what, guys? You're going to love purple. And right mm-hmm. now, our listeners will get a free purple pillow with the purchase of a mattress. That's in addition to the great free gifts they're offering site-wide. Just text RR. R&R. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> Just text RR to 84888. <laughs> the only way to get this free pillow is to text RR. R&R. To 84888. <laughs> That's RR to R&R. 84888. <laughs> Message and data rates may apply. Do you say data or data? Data. Data. 
I don't know. You don't know. Jabeta. Okay, so Doughboy's list of movies that he must see. I will Color sock purple. you before before our next episode. I will do it. I don't be. I don't have a job. Okay. Color purple. Color purple. Godfather two. Godfather two. Summer soldier. Winter soldier. <laughs> I'll sock you. Okay. But okay, now that because, we're talking about sequels, I mean, let me just. Can I talk about some franchises I feel have been dude. decimated by sequels? No. Let me just get a couple okay, more out, and then gotcha. we'll talk about that one. I seen Avengers. You seen all the other Avenger movies? Did you see Avengers? You didn't see Avengers? Which that, one? That's a good example of a trash sequel, but a comeback for the third. Yes. Which one? Look, have you I not started seen? falling off of superhero movies when they started making them seem too close to real life. I watched one of the X Men one, and they were acting like it was the cause of like the Civil War. I was like, that's not really what happened. It was just mixing too much. I didn't know what to think, so I have fallen off the way. Okay, so I'm gonna get upset okay. if we still t- talk about this and you haven't seen these movies. Okay, okay so let's go to what you want to talk about, huh? which is movies. Well, no, let's just see. Let's just see if the next one I know. Um, there's not so many great ones, okay. and I'm I'm kind of upset with you. But but let's just talk about oh, sequels that I feel have decimated. Empire Strikes Back. You never seen Star Wars, though, boy. I seen Star Wars, not the reboot. This no, is, no. You, this is the original. Which one? Oh, have the original. You seen? The one with with RTD RTD. What's this? What's his name? R2D2. The Golden Robot. Yeah. yeah. You seen all? I see. I, apparently, I was really into Star Wars as a child. As I got older, I just they stopped. So making which one them. have you not seen? Force Awakens. I don't know the last year. I have a, a, a the most recent ones you haven't seen. Mm-mm. Did you see the, the the new three around ninety nine? Did you see all the original three when I was younger? Yeah, the older Star ones. Wars. Yeah, all of those. Return of the Jedi, Empire Strikes. Back. I did see those. When okay. not in like in the eighties. Empire Strikes Back is probably. You, saw New Hope? That was the first one. you didn't see the first Star Wars. Look, man, it's not really. Come on, man, you guys are making me feel inadequate as so, a man. Anyway, on this list, Terminator Two: Judgment Day is ranked number one as the best sequel, better than the movie. Number two is Empire Strikes Back. Number three is Dark Knight, okay. and I'm not going to disagree with them. Mm-hmm. I'm not. The mad thing at that. about Empire Strikes Back is. We all look at it is because this movie came out in 1980 before I was born. Josh was born. Mm-hmm. Doughboy was 25, I think, <laughs> at this time. Um, there's no social media, so when they, when 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 uh, no, I am your father came back, mm-hmm. came out. That was legitimate. Like, oh, right. So even though I knew that when I watched it, it was still like, dang, that's crazy. But um, I don't know. I just don't want to talk about it anymore. Let's Why, talk about man? it. Because you... I want you to be my friend and watch all the movies I like. But uh, you, ain't, you don't watch all the movies that I like. What have I not seen? I bet you I've seen every movie you've ever seen. Paid in full. Come on. Everybody eats B. Belly. I know why. That's your favorite movie. <laughs> seen Belly. Um, Pulp Fiction. Love Pulp Fiction. That's a random movie to throw on. I've seen all, have you seen all Quentin Tarantino movie? Reservoir Dogs? Them. Yes. Okay, good. Carly, uh, what's, Carly let's, let's have this conversation. I've seen Carly before, Little's before, before we go here. No, no, no. Why? Are you stopping me because you, I haven't missed one? Oh, the movies that I've seen? Yeah. That you probably Keep haven't going. seen? Now, if you go to black and white films, Casablanca, One Flew Over the Shut Cuckoo's up. Nest, <laughs> Citizen Car- K. Carlito's Way. Seen it. Love Carlito's Way. That's my way. favorite movie. When I go time. in a dark alley and newspaper blows, I always feel like I'm on the set of Carlito's Way. <laughs> Remember at the very end? There Absolutely. was like in that fence oh, area God. and the newspaper was going. I cry every time I watch that yeah. movie. That movie is, is amazing. Keep going. Scarface? Um, You're supposed to be stumping me. You literally named me like the greatest movie of all time. It's literally have you have you seen Black Panther? Cool, 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 cool. Okay, uh, Kill I'm Bill. I'm not gonna stump. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna stump you. But let me let me. Just, this one was why we're talking okay. about sequels. Okay. Let's talk about mo- franchises that have been decimated by okay. sequels. I'm gonna give you I've, one off the back. Go I know you're gonna say the Hangover and another one. Hangover. If they just would have done that as one off. Hangover and Dumb and Dumber, probably one and two. And I think it's. No, what about Bad Boys? I think the the sequels of Bad Boys are bad. I I, I disagree. But here's the thing. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) We're going to cancel our podcast. It's just us. I think comedy sequels are worse because like comedic gold is really hard to find. Right. Like especially like uh, Anchorman 2 was pretty good. Yeah. But not it wasn't good as Anchorman, but right. not it wasn't bad. Hangover two in comparison to the Hangover mm. and Hangover three, complete money grabs. Yeah. Hangover one, I think that might be classic. my wife's favorite uh film. Right. I mean it was just a she classic. She thinks when first of all, Zach Galifianakis oh. was so funny in that movie. Amazing. Did you notice he never cussed in that movie? 
I didn't notice until you said it. Now his his character never cussed. Okay. Now that I think about, it, I don't really ever really hear him cussing at all. Now that I think, now about he cusses. It. Okay, I don't really be hearing. But he him. kicked the ground when the dude was like, and, and he was like, shoot, and he kicked the dirt. <laughs> so <laughs> when King Jung jumped out of that car, it was and was like, so long, gay boys. Like I don't know if that's offensive now, right. but when I first heard it, it, it was, was funny. so funny. They didn't um, have many dry spots in that movie. Mike Epps. Mike Epps. Mike Tyson. Ah. Uh, I totally forgot about Mike Tyson. He socked your boy yeah. out. One of the, movie, the funny parts about that movie was when uh, Bradley Cooper's character, first of all, Bradley Cooper being in Wedding Crashers, Hangover, and A Star is Born. A Star is Born. Is you slept rain. on A Star is Born. I wanted no, to fight you for that. No, you ruined A Star is Born. No, I didn't. It was, a great, it was the greatest movie. You hyped it up so much. It was amazing. That I was expecting to see The Godfather 2. It was good. And it was a good movie. Was, I liked it. But it was you, a classic. You hi- a Star is Born? No. You're, no, you're really not a classic. And It was a good movie. I enjoyed Bradley, it because you hyped it so much. I'm going to tell you what I do. Okay. I'm going to tell you the thing about Star is Born. Mm-hmm. Three things. Okay. Really impressed with Lady Gaga as an actor. Oh, my God. Really impressed. Great. Really impressed with Bradley Cooper's ability to change his voice. Jesus. I was like, fam, I know I've seen you in movies before, right. but I can't tell. And three, that last song was super dope. Yeah. And four... The way the movie ended, I was really surprised by yeah. it. Yeah. But let me tell you this. Can can we even bring this into the conversation? Is Bradley Cooper starting to emerge as one of the most diverse actors in the game, period? Because I don't you know, know diverse-wise, I don't know who you can even... Like, his movies... Of the, of the new people... He's that, like that guy. He might be that guy. He's... I mean, Christian, Bell, range, Christian Bell has range, too. Christian Bell might... He, he's good. He's Leo good. has a lot of range. Leo is... Leo might be the goat of range. How do you love Leo? Because Le- Leo First don't miss. First of all, let me tell you, he don't. Leo, I mean, Doughboy, we had this argument at ADD. Doughboy thinks Leo is a more versatile actor than Denzel Washington. I do. Do you think he's a better actor than Denzel Washington? It's hard to say. We better. had a really strong argument about this a couple years ago. And as I was upset, I was in my feelings mm-hmm. because no Denzel slander will be tolerated. Mm-hmm. I will say that range of characters, I feel like Leo's played a wider range. Uh, he now, here's the thing, though. Has. But here's the thing Denzel's greatest is better than Leo's greatest. Okay, so Denzel what do you say? as Denzel, what, Glory? In Glory. Okay. But also in Malcolm X and in Training Day. American Gangster as well. But what happened to Denzel, there was a slew of movies there. Right. Like he Man missed, on Fire yeah. is just like Equalizer. Uh, Remember the Titans right. is just like this. It was just like he's just playing Denzel in all these mm-hmm. movies. Right. Uh, Leo from uh, Loki. Basketball one of my, Diaries. Basketball Diaries, What's Eating Gilbert Grape. <laughs> but Loki, one of my favorite Leo movies, which people never mention, is... Um, Blood Diamond? No, no, no. Love him in that. He did a funny accent. I don't mm-hmm. know if it's uh, accurate, but I liked it. Um, not funny, good. Mm-hmm. Catch me, uh, if you can. catch me if you can. Come on, man. People don't talk no. about how good that movie is. And then what he did in Django. Django, Dude. he murked. Like, Candy he played. Man. When he played, Candy I was man. like, bruh. Like, and he's good enough to save a bad movie. Great Gatsby, trash. You know what? Until he came on the screen. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> For real. Save the bad he movie. Absolutely. And, and without him and Wolf of Wall Street. Bro. And the Revenant. Departed. Revenant. Departed. Departed, Departed bro. Me and Melissa just watched that bro. in Italy. I, and lo- love and respect to Denzel. But Denzel is not pulling off Departed. That, I mean, not Departed. Well, on, I mean, um, the, the one we just said, the, the Revenant. That was a tough movie to be by yourself. I'm going to tell you the thing about The Revenant that I don't like. There's one, no- it was an obvious Oscar play. And two, that movie was more about the other stuff but the movie. It was about the bear. It was about the lighting, the but, natural thing. But like movie for movie's sake, who, who cares what happened in that? Right. right. I didn't care at all, But it was bro. great. Like it was a great performance. No, though. it was a great performance. Right. But the movie stunk to me. Right. But his performance was good. But I, I we should save that. So, we should table that for another so, day. So but if you had to pick your big movie producer... Denzel gotta, Washington. Denzel over and not, Leo? And not because of black stuff. Yes. And I love Leo. You just think pound for pound, he can, he's a... I don't I'm know. Tell, here's my thing. I don't okay, know. Okay, so here's what it is. I don't I know, I think bro. Leo is good. I think right. he's, he's, he's top five, man or woman. Right. Um, but, but Denzel's because you know top who, five, too. Yeah, Denzel. They're debatable you, even if you have You know who I think is Leo's father? Who? Tom Hanks. Tom you Hanks. You want to talk about a versatile, Ooh. funny, Forrest Gump, 
Uh, Castaway. Woody. Castaway. Big. Philadelphia. Big. He don't miss. See, that's the th- he. Tom Hanks don't really make bad movies. Saving Neither does Leo. Private Ryan, oh, my, my favorite God. war yes. film of all time. Right. Tom Hanks absolutely murdered that. And first of all, everybody and their mom is in that movie. Yeah. I watched it on the plane uh, a couple weeks ago. Totally forgot Vin Diesel was in that. Was he in a league of their own too? He was. He Tom was the Hanks. Coach. Is Tom Hanks the goat? Who's here, the greatest here, actor of all time? Here's my list. Okay. Meryl Streep, Viola Davis. Okay. Okay. Uh, no particular order, what you're saying? My favorite actress, mm-hmm. favorite actor, actress, personally, is Meryl Streep. Okay. I just think once she did Devil Wears Prada, I was like, man. I think Viola Davis, Viola Davis is, is might be like, as far as pure passion and intensity, and I believe mm-hmm. her in every role. Uh, in doubt, I was like, dang, you crazy, girl. Like, you gonna give your baby up? Right. Uh, then it probably goes, my first two are women. <laughs> right. Then it probably goes, Denzel, Leo okay. are three and four, but Tom Hanks is above both of them. Okay. And I just, I don't know what it is. I really like Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is, because he don't make bad movies. He doesn't. You make. can't, that, that's the and thing. And he has a wide range of, of different movies. And he's, you know, the thing about me, I like you being able to do a lot of different stuff. Al Pacino, though. You might feel a way about me. I, I Kevin, love Kino, Al Pacino. Kevin, <laughs> go ahead. I love Al Say Pacino. It. I love Al Pacino, but I'm not ranking him in my top five. Really, love him. His role. Any be- given Sunday. I love him. Heat. Love him. Scarface. He was really good in Heat. Carlito's I, way. I, I I'm saying I love him. Godfather. There's only room for five. Okay. Meryl, Viola. But he's a Godfather. Um, and you said that that was your favorite movie of all time. I didn't say that. Godfather 2? No, I didn't say that was well, my you favorite said movie. That I said Dark Knight. Okay. It's a great sequel. He He's top 10. Okay. But he's not top five. I stand by what I said. Meryl, Viola, Tom Hanks, Denzel, Leo are my top five. I think my top five would be Leo, Denzel. Pillberry Doe's boy. Shut up. I'll go, I'll go Leo. I would go Denzel. i go Tom Hanks. Will Smith, Will Smith to be in my top five, mm-hmm. and then Queen Latifah. Okay, we'll get Queen to that. Queen Latifah. Hold on, we'll get to that. It's, it's it's let's slick. come back to our top okay. five in just a second because okay. I want to tell our our listeners about something dope that we just found out about. Okay, cool, cool. A new podcast. Hey. So since we've been making podcasts, we've been consuming podcasts. We have. And this new one that we want to tell you about, Ozzy Confidential, is super dope. Like Here's it. what I like about it. The most important thing to me mm-hmm. is the the show is is as long as it needs to be. Right. Some episodes are 20 minutes, some are 45 because it goes by whatever the story is. So mm-hmm. if you don't know, Ozzy Confidential is a new podcast from Ozzy that tells it all. It's a host, Eugene S. Robinson. He's a journalist, mm-hmm. actor, stuntman, frontman, creator of Sex with Eugene, True Stories, and Eugenius. Mm-hmm. And now he's all up in your ear with interviews from the underground. So it's ungoogleable, untold, undiscovered until now. Mm. So it's part Ranorific, cross talk from the edge, part no holds bar, delving into dark stuff, often left unsaid, complete with a soundtrack to die for. Ozzy Confidential is a podcast for people, personalities, and weird, wild notions about what we reveal and what we want to conceal. Okay, so listen up for Ozzy Confidential everywhere audio lives. Everywhere. And if you just can't wait, listen a day early on Himalaya. This podcast, your mother warned you about. Only from Ozzy. Shout out to Ozzy. Live curiously shout out to Ozzy check it out though it's actually really super dope we actually listen Um, to these things we don't we listen to them today we don't be capping for Mm y'all so definitely check it out now let's go back to what you were saying now when we talk about range because we were talking about range you rank Will Smith above Al Pacino okay so I said okay I said Leo number one yes Denzel is number two yes Tom Hanks number three yes and then Al Pacino or Will Smith you're also forgetting Robert De Niro I go I go Will Smith just Here's because I enjoy Will, Will Smith. Smith. That's my thing. I've I think enjoyed Will's his a, movies. But I, right. I think Will's a great actor. Mm-hmm. I think he's fantastic. Right. My favorite, personal favorite movie from him is Pursuit of Happiness. That's my personal favorite. Just was really loving the role. Right. But as far as like skill for skill, range for range. Because you can make that argument that he plays the same role every time too. Well, that's the thing like. As an actor, it's hard not to because they cast you for what you bring to the role. True. The person who probably plays the exact same character is The Rock. 
The he Rock be having does. the same clothes on. They they pointed that out. And he, bro, have you seen that? It was like yes. three or four movies where the dog on green pants and tan shirt, like over and over and over. Right. But see, I don't know if any movies that Rock makes you'll ever. I mean, I think that we'll watch them all once. That's. I don't know that they'll ever stick with you in twenty years. You'll be like, yeah. yo, remember Rock hold and on, Rampage? Hold on. You you don't think the Scorpion King is gonna stick with you? No. You're not gonna wake up in cold sweats on your deathbed like before I passed away. The one thing I didn't get to watch <laughs> was the Scorpion King. Not at all. I don't. Here here's actually probably a good tell of if you're a good actor or not mm. i don't think you anyone would ever care if there was a movie that the rock made that you didn't see people would ever say oh you didn't see that right. i don't think anybody would ever right. care people right. would be like you didn't see a, this movie viola davis denzel leo but if you i named any movie that the rock made and mm. you didn't see it would you care probably not not at all not a ton of substance there there's nothing that he's made that people would be like yeah. I just fine. Yeah. Will Smith has some. Mm-hmm. He has a couple, mostly fun. Men in Black, uh, Independence Day, which he was only in Independence Day for like twenty three minutes. I have an interesting take. Okay, about this, about something totally off the off the wall. Because you know Jamie Fox is my favorite everything. Yes. Right? I feel like nobody. It's arguable to put him in the race for more range than anybody. Jamie Foxx? Jamie Foxx. Because how he can do Ray, like how he can do, he can kind of morph into different characters. But, he, okay, I'm listening. Now. So, let, so me, let me just quantify that. He has a ton of range. Okay, what like, what are the range movies that you're naming? Ray obviously won. Booty Call? It was really funny in Booty Call. That was going to actually be my second point, that Jamie Foxx, for being a comedian, never makes funny movies. Booty Call's funny. But that was like 30 years ago, and was it? Range as an entertainer? As an entertainer, just the fact that... I was gonna say as an actor, but then I thought about it. Like he hasn't. I mean, he has, he's, he's definitely diverse. He has. Hit what was that movie he right. was in? Uh, uh, Baby Driver. He actually was he good in? He was. He was. A, he was the villain. And yeah, and he was in Horrible Bosses. I too. Did, yeah. Right. Well, two, yeah. And he was yeah, funny in that. Very well. But I, you were. I think Josh makes a good point. His range as an entertainer might be more. He has great than, range of not necessarily as, as an, an actor. actor. Right, but he see he's he's got the same Denzel problem. Mm. His good is really good. As bad as no, it's just his good yeah. is really good. He's yeah. as Ray, he's really good. But if you had to name three, four more, where he's fantastic, stealth like <laughs> <laughs> Jarhead. <laughs> the solo was he was good. That just is kind of weird movie. Right. You know another thing. Oh, now that oh, we're you talking know about he stunk it up. Right. Oh my god, Law Spider Season? Man movie. Oh Spider Man. Oh. <sighs> He's made some man. You know another thing that bothers me about movies? What? I never believe the women that Chris Rock plays the, that when they play his love interest. I never believe this. it. I'm like, no, there's no way you're getting yes. Rosario Dawson. No. No way. Or Kerry Washington. No way. Especially in the same movie. No way you ever do that. So I have a problem I with that. I think I love my wife more like I don't think you could ever marry that woman. <laughs> exactly. Top five. There's no yeah. way. There's no way. Because no he's way. not Chris Rock. Like yeah. if he's Chris Rock, I'll give it to you. Right. But just regular man on the streets. It never. It ne- it, every time I see it, I'll be like, oh, they did it again. <laughs> oh, Doughboy <laughs> also has a claim and we got to wrap up. Okay. Doughboy, and we won't be able to do the wrap up. Okay. We, for next week, yeah. we promise. Doughboy believes and we'll close on this. That Chris Rock has not made a funny movie. I, I, I gave him one. What? Head of State. Oh, you did. But I feel like Bernie Mac really was. Oh, the, Bernie Mac absolutely right. cares. But outside of that, he don't really. To name me one funny Chris I, Rock movie. I can't. He Except don't really, I'm going to get you sucker. He was so funny in that. But, but he that's just not played a, a big movie. role. Exactly. Yeah. The movies I, that he be in and he's supposed to be funny, yeah. I'd be like. And you know what else we also talked about? Adam Sandler hasn't made a good movie in 20 years. A funny movie. You're right. That movie that he did on Netflix was god awful. Sandy Wexler, oh god! Remember we, remember we were, I think did we watch that together? Yeah. We were just like, no, you, no, no, you know what? It was the other one with him and Chris Rock. You told me to watch the and first. It was, two. Yeah, you couldn't even get to the first twenty. It minutes. was what was that called? I don't remember. End of the bad. weekend or something? It was bad. It was bad. Anyway, we got to wrap up. We got to roll. We that was, this was great. Thank you for doing Thanks. this. I didn't want to talk about heavy stuff. Thank y'all for. Here's what we need. Our patrons who get the bonus episode a week, mm-hmm. we're going to take the information from y'all on what the bonus episode should be about. Mm-hmm. So it could be topical or it could be evergreen. Y'all talk to us in the Patreon. Doughboy be in there every day. He runs the Patreon. If y'all like Ratchet and Ratchet, we'll see you every Wednesday. If you want more Ratchets and more Ratchet, you can support, support the Patreon. We'll give you at least two episodes a week. Every week, guaranteed. Depends on what we talk about whatever so we'll listen to y'all appreciate y'all share love the y'all. video like the video we love you all rate shout the out podcast to the five stars or don't rate us we'll sock you and, and we'll sh- see you next shout week shout out to regina hall <laughs>